assholeconsulting.com. We have kind of a short sponsor here, um, and it's Jared's Crazy Periodic Table. And this is an app you can get in Google Play or the iPhone, iTunes stores, whatever they call it. And uh, I said, okay, well, tell me some, you know, some sales point about it. And he's like, oh, I want you to rip it apart. I'm like, why do you want me to rip it apart? Because that'll sell more. And I'm like, no, 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 look, that, that sensationalism is not going to work. I said, what, what does it do? Because I looked at it, and it is pretty cool. Like, I was thinking, like, okay, this will work for, like, high school students if you're in chemistry uh, or college, or you're a chemist yourself. And my knowledge of the periodic table of elements go back to when there were only three. That, that's how old I am. There were only three elements on the periodic table of elements. There was styrofoam, rocks, and sticks. And styrofoam was the more that was just invented after after before I was born. Um, but he well, I'll just I'll just go through. I said, well, tell me, you know, tell me like who's it for? I was all right. Here are the key selling points. <clears throat> all the elements from hydrogen to lawrencium, 103 in total. Uh, thermochemical data, characteristic pro properties, toxicity data, preparation and availability, uh, information on thermites, intermetallic reactions metal combustion combustion in all the isotopes a crash course on stoic stoichiopsy it's i don't even remember half this stuff i remember molon uh, molar conversions and valence electron configuration i understand okay yeah that's how it works and then oh there's uh, an electron got away oh it's a that's an unstable element and it's going to want to mix with something and um but i don't know what stoichiometry is a crash course on stoichiometry which is very useful to prepare for exams and help with homework. It teaches how to balance equations. Lots of anecdotes and historical references, such as the Atsi, such as Atsi the Iceman's copper axe, Ishtar Gates cobalt blue paint, sulfur miners in Indonesia. So, and if you go there, it is kind of cool. What it's it's not just like ah oh, here's your periodic table of elements. There's Images and pictures and references and little movement, and, or not movement, um, animated GIFs. And all. it's a very highly interactive periodic table of elements. So I thought, like, well, this would be something really cool. I'm sure after a while, if you're in chemistry, you have this all memorized. But if, if you're, you're a student or not there yet, this would be just something to have on your phone and you can look it up. A very good app for students who need to do research on papers or need references. A helpful tool for the amateur pyrotechnician who wants to experiment with exotic and powerful thermites. Best regards, uh, Jared. All right, so that's that is the um, that's the plug. And like I said, I'm I'm not that good at chemistry, but yeah, there's like a picture of a nuclear explosion. There's a Ferrari versus an F22. It just it looks really neat. It's got like a, a lot of higher rate. It's only got five stars. Of course, only two people have reviewed it yet. But yeah, if you happen to be a chemistry student, it's 99 cents to buy. Look, 99 cents, that's going to save you the time and money. <clears throat> You're going to have to do looking stuff up on an actual periodic table. I'm one of these boring ones. I'm sure it's on the internet. Give this a shot. So if you're interested, heck, you know what? Let's say you're you're an adult, you're a parent, and you got your kid, and you want to get them like their chemistry set. This, this, would, this would entice them. This would interest them. Because it's not just a boring periodic table of elements with all the data. There's pictures, there's explosions, there's cartoons, there's everything. Um, so I'll put the link down below. But yeah, look, look that up. Jared's Crazy Periodic Table. It's on Google Play and the, and the iPhone, iTech, iSomething store. I don't know. I use real computers. I use PCs, not Apples. All right, that's it. You guys want to sponsor the show and my podcast, $50 a month. We'll see you. Bye.